So your pieces need to be a little bit longer, but not around to the back of the knee. Not around to the hamstrings. Cover the patella by covering the front of the knee, but not all the way around to um, the back of the knee. You're going to assess the patella uh, in its resting position and decide if it's medial or laterally tilted. Uh, so I'm going to say this has a medial glide. You could assess that by feeling the condyles, just looking at it. Uh, you could check the mobility of it and see which way it's restricted or if it's tilted up or down. A patella alta would be up kind of high. Um, again, usually they're lateral and you're wanting to tape them medially. So you're going to put two pieces of tape covering the patella, not high or low and not right on top of each other. So it's pull your tape off and then again, let's see, let's do this one. Um, kind of assess the inferior and superior poles. I'm going to start with the lower half. I'm starting way on the side. I'm going to push the kneecap over, pull the tape, and lift. Those three letters, PPL, are going to help you a lot. Push, pull, lift. And when you get back to your desk, I'll have you write it down. So it's all three at the same time. So you put this down laterally, you push the kneecap over, hold that, pull the tape, and lift. All three of those forces at the same time. PPL, push, pull, lift. Push the kneecap over, pull the tape, lift the medial soft tissue. And then you do the exact same thing with your brown cover roll. And again, everything overlaps about a little quarter of an inch. Um, so same thing. What are my three letters? PPL. Now, what's the first one? Push. The push what? When am I pushing? And I'm pulling the tape, and then I'm lifting medial structure, soft tissue. And you may get a little wrinkle on the medial side, which is fine. Same thing here. These do overlap. Don't leave a little space in between your tape but not that much. So push the kneecap, pull the tape, and lift down. Now, it will be tight. Sometimes I hold it, haven't been the knee two or three times so it stays on, and then have them stand up on it so it doesn't pop off. Okay? Tight. Yeah, well, when you get, get up. Okay. Um, <laughs> so that's your McConnell taping. It's with cover roll, and it's with um, what's called Luco tape. We have a lot of it in here. You won't have it over Thanksgiving, but if you wanted to practice with, you know, athletic tape, you can. Athletic tape you could get for three or four dollars, like at Academy. You're probably going to need to pick up a roll to practice the other ones. Now, on your ankle tape, I want y'all just to do it. We're not going to go through it again, but I'm going to help you. An anchor and an anchor. Remember, inversion and ankle sprains. Which way does the foot go when you sprain an ankle? So, which way do you want to put your stirrups on? You want to go lateral to medial and pull her like that, or you want to go medial to lateral to support the sprained area? Medial to lateral, please. All right, and you pull pretty good on that. Three of those, those could fan. Um, and then we're going to do the figure eights, and if you want to take the piece of tape,